I usually write like a poem for every event I go to, but there wasn't a theme for the night, so I tried to like, come up with some. And since it's called Mute, I decided to do something with like Mute. So this one is called Mute Words, okay? It was inspired by being mute, okay? Mute words, okay? Okay. okay. I love you, but it's over. I love you, but it's over. She said it so casually, your sister innocently tell me that everything we had till that point was for nothing. All our memories and love dropped. And I swear to you, for that one second, time stopped. And I stood there, looking at her with eyes that didn't believe because I knew she was hiding words she didn't want to tell me. I was trying to read between the lines, but there were no words to be read. And I was looking at it so hard, but it seemed as if that space in between those sentences was nothing more than dead. But I had to be certain. So I walked up to the edge of, but it's over, and looked down. And it was nothing but darkness and not one single sound. It was scary. But I didn't want to read between the lines anymore, no. I wanted to jump in. So I did. And as I fell, I could hear words she never said whispering. Will he be mad? Will he be sad? Will he scream right away? What is he going to say? Am I doing the right thing? Is this a mistake? His heart is one I never wanted to break. As I landed, I found myself in complete darkness. The only light was a storm above me. It was raining, but not a single raindrop touched me. And in front of me appeared my imagination, speculation, and self pity We had a conversation about everything she could have hid from me. Maybe she cheated on me. Maybe she found a new love, or maybe her patience just ran empty. And then a little boy appeared. He grabbed my hand and told me, if you want the truth, you have to get past these three. So I did. And as I passed him, the storm cleared. And then the darkness grabbed the little boy. He smiled, and then he too disappeared. And so I stood there alone in the dark. My only company was my fear. And as I felt like I needed her next to me, that little boy's voice said, she's no longer there. Let it go. And it was right then and there, in between, I love you, but it's over, the light got switched on. And I saw our relationship and everything that was wrong. Every argument we ever had was written on a wall, and each lie she ever gave me was underlined with red. And the further we got into the relationship, red was under everything she said, until I finally saw I love you, but it's over. And there stood that little boy with a red crayon starting to draw that line. And he had a blindfold on. He lifted one side so he could see with one eye. And then he smiled and disappeared again. But not before he said, finally. And then I ran to the wall. I started climbing my way back up. With each inch that I passed, I felt myself giving less of up. So and finally, I came to I love you and I climbed my way out. I looked at my body, and that's what broke the time out. And once again, the clock started to tick, and I found myself looking at it with eyes that didn't want to see it. As I said, it's okay. I get it. Don't call me, and I won't call you. You have a good life, and I hope you find someone that can make you happy. I stood up and walked away. I had nothing more to say. I never looked back at that part of misery, and then bam, all of a sudden time stopped. Only this time it wasn't me. Now, love is nothing more than a word. It's blind until the moment that it breaks. Sometimes your mind plays tricks with you, but sometimes it's real. Sometimes you have to walk past yourself just to see how you feel. Sometimes you have to get out just so you can look in. And sometimes go into that lowest part in your life and it's worth visiting. Fighting to be happy and fighting to be in a relationship are two different things. It's just up to you to decide which one is worth more. See you know.